for today's projects, we're only going to need a few items. First, I grabbed my Amazon package that was left at the door with my caning in there, which we're gonna use for all the projects today. Then I ran to Michael's and grabbed some different vases in different shapes. And then I ran to Trader Joe's to grab my favorite peonies flowers. And I think we're ready to get started. We're gonna start with one of our glass vessels and our caning and we're gonna put that right at the edge of the caning and wrap that around and kind of measure it that way, just eyeball it. And we're gonna just butt that right up to the bottom of the cane so that it's just right in the edge. And then we're gonna roll it to measure and we are going to cut it about a half inch past where it overlaps. We're gonna overlap it and glue it that way. That's how you can get it to stay together. Now we're gonna cut the height of the caning and we're going to want that to overlap the opening of our vase by about a half inch or an inch so that you don't see the actual vase. Then we're gonna grab some hot glue and we're gonna start by putting just a tiny little dab at the bottom and it's just kind of securing it to the bottom I just did this in a few little areas around it. You could do the entire bottom if you want, but I kind of did it like in different areas, just a tiny bit uh, so that I can maybe take this off when I decide to change my decor. And then we're gonna put a bead of glue on one side of the caning and then overlap it. So here's our first one, that is a small one. Then we're gonna do the same thing on a large one. Same process. We're gonna cut it to size from top and bottom. Then we're gonna add the hot glue, overlap the two pieces, secure it to the bottom, and that's it. And now you have a larger base. And we're gonna do one more, which is that odd shape one. I pre-measured right to where it starts to angle and you'll just wrap that around and you guys got the picture i don't think you need me to show you how to do the rest of it then i just took some peonies flowers put them in the vases you could use these for candle votives also because remember it's glass inside so it's safe how beautiful are these and what an easy project Project number two, we're gonna take the same cane we use for our home decor items and we're gonna use it on a plain black bag and turn it into a designer look. So you're gonna run to the store. I grabbed this one at Target and you wanna make sure your leather or faux leather bag has some kind of lining inside. You'll see why this is important when we start the project. I already cut a piece of cane and you're gonna measure the size of this and the width of this is about five inches. So after you figure out the dimensions of your cane, we are gonna take that and then make a rectangle or a square, whatever the shape is that you decide. We're gonna make that about three quarters of an inch smaller. So just kind of mess with it, doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna use a straight edge. I have a T-square right here. And then I also am using that blue chalk, which is a Taylor's chalk, which works great. You can use anything really, I just happen to have that. And then after we do that, we're gonna grab a matte knife or an X-Acto knife, and we're gonna use that same T-square or straight edge to cut an opening. Just be extra careful when you're cutting that you don't go all the way through to where the lining is. Most likely you have a stuffing inside there which you're gonna pull out so you should be safe. So we're just gonna take that straight edge and go all the way around and like I said just take your time cutting each side of your square or rectangle. After you finish cutting everything you're gonna take out that area and then you're gonna see that it's kind of like, almost like a picture frame, so you can slide the cane in there. You're probably gonna see some batting or some stuffing in there and you can take that out first. 
and then take your cane and gently slide that in there into the pocket. Make sure it fits nice and snug in there. And you can already see how cool this looks. It took this really basic purse and it elevated it into something that's more stylish and hip and more designer-like. And then we are going to glue it in place. Just gonna grab your hot glue and I love the Gorilla Glue, that's like my favorite. And gently smooth it out. And you'll notice I'm putting a lot of glue in there and the reason is so it kind of will expand around the openings of the cane and kind of go underneath it and then it'll be more secure in the purse. And then smooth that out. And once you've gotten the glue all the way around and you've smoothed out all the areas so it's nice and clean finished, you're ready to style this and put it with your favorite outfit and wear it out on the town. I love that you can repurpose the exact same caning into a fashion project and also a home decor project. And I don't know which one I like better because they're both so unique and so different. I hope you guys love today's DIYs and until next time, bye.